Hey guys, QVR2123, and today, uh, uh, we got a, Ryan got a new gun, actually. Yes. And when it was right about my next gun, I got the Gwiak Seax Team. Very it's nice. Very nice. And here's a gun for those of you who want to see. Right here. And today we're going, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be doing a review on Yacht, and it's all about the Quiak. So Here's the manual. Let me zoom in on it. There it is, Yacht. Right. And later, after this video, we're going to do a Quick 16 versus Alpha Trooper versus Raider. All right, and let's the, start. And here's the, the Quick 16. Wait, do that again. The Quick 16. Oh. Okay, zoom out. Okay. Some goods. Oh. The goods on the Quick 16, well, one, very nice because it's way easier than the right. The slant bar. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. It comes with two modes one regular and then slant bar. It's very nice. Oh, and these are the bullets. And, right. that, and that whistled, even though they're. I am the reviewer. Too bad. Oh. They're the, like, um, they're kind of like, let me get some. They're like these, but they whistle. And they're better. I can't see them. This is the new one, and these are the old ones. My. And the Quick 16 is one of the newer guns. It's a dark tank gun, which is very nice. Dead, dead. Ah. Uh, it comes with a built in clee up. Can you go get the bullets? Yes, I can. It comes with a built in clip. It's very nice. It's better than the speed. Load Seahawks. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the bullets on the ground. you load. Well, first of all, unlike a lot of other guns, you don't have to cock it back because if you cock it back, this comes here. And that means you can't load it. So it has to be cocked forward. And then you load it like Dios. And don't load it with like one finger. Load it with like two or three. And you load it like this. I'll just let you know if Ryan forgets we're going to do a firing test. We will probably do it outside. I'm not sure. Nyak. He's a Seahawk. Ryan is loading the Quiak. Yes, I am. As you can see, I finally brought the drum for the raid. And as you can see, I have no bullets, like barely any bullets in there. Okay. I'm trying to review. Well, I'm showing me. Okay. Another good thing is it comes with a sight. It's right here, which is very Boogie nice. Your thumb. Let me zoom in on it. There's Woogie. He's pointing it at Woogie. Oh, uh, okay. Another good is that. Unlike all the other clip system guns, you don't have to like take out a clip like the like the stampede and the raider and like recon. You have to cock it back, take out a clip, load it, and be just to be be defenseless when you're like loading it. So you can like have it forward like this, so you're ready to fire and you can still continue to lock. It's very good. Yes, it is. Ow! Another good is that it can take. Wow. It can take any type of dart. Size so streamlines. Cause it jabs like the Raider. It's actually better than the Raider. Dead to death. Okay, so it, it can take whistler darts. These the are my whistler darts. Or all. Or the black darts. Farts. Ah! That's a whistler dart. As you can see. Here's another whistler dart. That's a different type. Here is the. Uh, Here's a, Here's a different type of Volcro. Didn't it whistle as you can see? Here's a suction cup. I'm not sure if it will work. Hey, it worked. It's weaker without the actual darts that it comes with. So to, I would actually suggest you use the darts that it comes with. Ow, oh, that hurt my yuck. Another good is like you can tell it's pretty, it's like my most powerful gun. Better than the Volk actually. And uh, another good is you can hook on your deploy strap or your sharp shot um, keychain short sort of thing onto here. My like that. Like that. Okay, uh another good is that having like a tagger dart or a whistler dart go through a clip is just awesome. I have to give Dart Tag credit because end strike as you can see like with Raider and like Stampede, they only take streamlines. Oh yeah. Stream. Quick 16 can take streamlines sometimes. We can try it. Do it. <clears throat> oh, it's at max. Hang on, poo. <laughs> okay. It's at max. I don't know why I did that. I 
let me try shooting it. And it jammed. As you can see, it jammed with a stream. Who? Yes, it did. Actually, very bad jam. Ha. Huh. Big. All right, we're gonna pause the video because it's a bad jam. So, Quentin, cut off the video. Wait, hang on. Whee! Oh, never mind. I fixed it. Another, Pretty lazy. Another good is that, well actually I think that's all the goods. Now on to the bads. Actually there's only one bad. Give me the Raider stock. This, uh, the Quick 16 comes with like a stock holder. But like, and strike stocks won't go on. As you can see. And also the recon. And also, uh, it doesn't have any tactical rails. But I think, uh, and strike, or, they're trying to pull off like another design from the end strike guns with all like the tacticals like on the off. Oh and by the way, oh well never mind, you can tell them. What? Uh the versus video. You already told them. Oh I did. E. Oh well if you didn't hear there's going to be a quick sixteen versus Raider versus Alpha Trooper versus video and I will, that's probably gonna be our best versus video ever. Except for like the stampede and Oh yeah well. I wanna show you guys something. Um I don't know if I already mentioned this, but don't have the. Oh, I, yeah, I did. But for instance, here, let me load the dark. This is when you know it's full when it's all the way down here. So you can and it can't. It can't go in any farther than that. It says max. There and it guys. points to the bolt. It's probably one of the Dice's nerf guns out there, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna be doing a firing test. So see you in a few minutes. Hey, this is QVRT123, and as we're outside, and as you can see, we're about to uh, shoot the Raider in the Quick 16, and uh, we're going to do one bullet for a regular, and then we're going to do slam fire. So I'm going to start off with the Raider. It's probably going to jam. Here we go. Pulling straight. Oh, three, two, one. Fail. Well, that was the first bullet. Let me try again. Fail. That went about... About 15 and a half feet. Bam! Now slam fire. See if slam fire is better. Probably not. Jam. Nope. Okay, well, average about. That went about, the slam fire went about 23 feet, which was like about right here. Sad. But average goes about like 16. Maybe 18 feet. All right. Well, now it's a Quiox CX team. It's very nice, actually. Well, let's wait for Quentin to load the raid. Entertain them for a minute or two. Well, as you can see, I got the quick sit thing. Oh. And um, we're going to be doing a firing test for it. We already did one, and the, the farthest one went was about 37 feet, but we're just going to do it again. Yuck. There's a messed up dart. Okay. All right, well, let me load it. All right, let me shoot it. Hang on. Hold this straight. Hang on. Let me hold the cam. See you, Shell. Hold the yacht. All right. Okay. Hold this straight. Three, two, one. Let's try that again. Three, two, one. All right, so that landed. I saw that landed. And about 26 feet. But right there. Alright, well now I'm gonna put. Alright, let's do it. Three, two, one. He is out. Alright, well, I can see the bullet. One we on was let's see. One over, so hang on. One, two, three, four. Oh! Six, seven. About 37 feet, which is way better than the right here. Wow. Alright, so that's it, so uh, we'll see you next time.